Yes, sir. We are back again. It's your favorite motherfucking podcast right here. Uh, this is Toxic Inferno Podcast with your boy right here, Scooter Boo Maxwell for the 9 on 1 Memphis, Tennessee. You probably know what it is. Orange Brown representing East Memphis vet this bitch. Yes, sir. And you already know who it is. It's your boy, Mr. Simple Man. We back yet again. Week again. Favorite motherfucking podcast. Let's get it. Yes, sir. And you can see we are one shy of the full group today, but y'all already know this is how this shit started. Yeah, so y'all man. already know y'all come. We coming with some toxic shit today, so y'all know yeah. we ain't got toxic Yeah, anytime Sasha Boogie is not toxic. here. <laughs> anytime she's not here, what they say when it can't we ain't got gone, no the mouse come out to play. Yeah, ain't no balancing act today. <laughs> yeah, man, and today's podcast is brought to you by Clarence D, because if you could hear my voice right now, I'm fucked up. I am sick of this bitch right now, man. So Clarence can help me a little bit get this fucking shit through my goddamn nose and shit. God damn, man. It ain't a real sponsorship, but shit, god damn. I shout out to them for helping me the fuck out. I think I was dying earlier before I got that shit. I've been <laughs> in your situation. I have my allergy, allergy mess myself sometimes. Oh man, that's just a great thing about it. I don't even got an allergy issues, man. It's just, I just got sick. It's a summer cold. This shit. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, see, I rarely get sick once the allergy do their thing. I'm, I'm in the clear. So right now, I'm in, like, winning. You feel me? It's like yeah, straight man. winning. Mm. Yeah, so <sighs> what we got today, bro? What you want right, to talk about today? All right, bro? man. It's just us. Back Fuck to this. The we get us toxic shit for the very beginning. Ladies. Why don't y'all let men be men and let us uh, let us do what the fuck we want without y'all looking, man? Looking for it, all right? Because when you start looking, for shit, <laughs> when you start looking for shit, that's when you usually find it. And now, now you ain't happy no more. Now, now, even if I wasn't even trying to do anything, right? Let's say, and this rolls into another topic. I'm gonna roll both of them together, London. And so then, let's say something happened in the past, right, between us. It happened in the past. You called me cheating, whatever, whatever, whatever. But we agreed to get back together all right we agreed we gonna erase that shit you know what i'm saying but now you don't trust me even though i said we done and stuff like that and i haven't even did shit but now because you don't trust me you going out of your way to make me not trust you if that makes sense Hmm. For, for example for example let's say all right two years ago uh you called me cheating all right cool Yep, I apologize, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? And you allow me to come back in your life. You allow me to come back into your life. I'm going to say it one more time. You allow <laughs> me to come back into your life. All right, cool. So at that point, we have a discussion and be like, look, you know, I fucked up, blah, 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 I ain't going to do that shit again. Because you allow me to come back into your life, that means you should have a clean slate at that point. Meaning, do not keyword, start. Keyword should. You know they don't know the case. Should. Go should. Ahead. should. <laughs> Meaning, even if I'm not on fuck shit at this point, why are you trying to go through my phone? All right. And at what point, like, understand, like maybe initially, but what? What if it was like a year and a half or two down the line? You still trying to go to my phone? So now, why am I wrong not to trust you? Not trust you for cheating, but trust you for just going through my personal shit. Like, am I wrong for that now? London, how you feel about that type of shit, dog? <laughs> so, hey, that's a slippery slope, my boy. It's a slippery ass slope. It's toxic as a motherfucker, though. So I, I, I'm in full agreement that all right, let's just say anybody fuck up in a relationship, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. If you two, let's just say the woman do whatever she do, and it ain't necessarily got to be cheating, because women always make cheating the end all be all, the worst thing that you can do besides abuse that right. there is, right? right? Um, That's just bullshit, in my opinion. But, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's just bullshit, because women can be, you know, spiteful, vindictive, and, you know what I mean? All that type of shit, you know what I mean? But they can say, well, I ain't never cheat on you, and I ain't da 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 You should be a man, should be able to take these words. Nah, motherfucker, emotional Thanks. abuse is the same. You know what I'm talking about? Emotional, mental abuse is still real. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? So uh, women do that shit all the time, they get away with it. They get a clean slate. Uh, so that's just say for both sides of it. So I think if either person, decides to take that person, I'm talking about a clean break, like we were separated apart, we broke it all the way up, we took Mm -hmm. however much time we took, and I know that's going to be one of the things that you'll probably hear, how much time was in, you know what I'm saying, 
How can you put a time on it? Well, you once again, you made it very, very clear when you made this statement. You took me back, right? You took me exactly. back. So like, like I said, I think it's in either way. If the man take the woman back, the woman take the man back, right? You should be giving them the benefit of the doubt. And you should have your, your trust should be at some point of, I took them back. So therefore I'm allowing us to rebuild. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's simple as that, right? Simple allowing that. us to rebuild. Now, as long as no repeat behavior happens, yep. which I, I, honestly, I honestly understand that part. Yeah. You do some shit, some behavior things that's just like before, that's fine. I understand relapsing on it. But like you talked about, no, nah, I ain't on no fuck shit. I ain't doing nothing. Then I think you can't come back and be like, well, I got to make sure type shit. Like, I got to right. I'm going to go, go right. look at just, the, just because this shit did happen before. If it ain't no repeat behavior happening, you know what I'm saying? I be, so I'm going to tell you what everything going on. And I, my last relationship was like this. Um, I fucked up early. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Early on in the relationship, for sure. But this this exact topic was was our conversation. Me, I was uh -huh. all right. I did what I did. I fucked up. Yada yada yada. Right now, you ain't got to make the decision right now. But I said, I brought them out. I said just like this. I said you ain't got to make the decision right now because I'm not trying to put no time on the healing or whatever the case may be. But we was living together at the same time too, so that's a little bit harder. So I do understand that part too, ladies, men. When you're living together, it's a little different. But at the same time, though, we didn't. We never did a break. But mm -hmm. a breakup, I told her straight up, like, I can't put a time limit on what you're going through and how long it's going to take you here, how long it's going to take us to rebuild, whatever the case may be. But I will tell you this, if I do my part in correcting and getting, you know what I'm saying, getting back, doing all that, whatever I need to do, the shit that I need to do for myself as well as what you feel is necessary. Mm -hmm. You can't keep dragging me down the mud for certain shit. Okay, over and over and over, whenever you feel like you're in a mood or whatever the case may be, if it's not something that's exhibiting their behavior or repeating, you know what I'm saying, that cycle, you can't be like, motherfucker, that's why, I knew, you, know, you know what I'm saying, just bringing up that old shit, you cheated, yeah. da, 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 da. what? We talking about me going to the store. What the fuck? Right. Like, what they got, what they got to do I ain't want to go to the store for you and ask, oh, that's why you cheat. Look, come on now, like, you can't. Fucking that bitch. That right, that type of shit. So, like, I don't, I'm not a fan, so I do believe once a motherfucker do say they forgive you and you don't re-exhibit or re, you know, re uh reestablish those bad behavior patterns, whatever it was that happened, then like that, that's a form of manipulation in my opinion, bro. Facts. Like, it is. That's a it is. it's a form of manipulation, bro, because the forgiveness is only based upon a temporary whatever to get whatever it is that you you know what i'm saying or to essentially gas like the whole situation right you can be like oh yeah i forgive you only to know you're not you're not you're not so one that part and the uh -huh. second part is she i'm gonna make their ass pay i'm gonna get my lick back or you know what i'm saying a sum along those lines that's manipulation of gas like and then it's fine it's right there right so if you go get your lick back do it before we get back together once again you took me back all right, and this work on both sides. I'm not talking about just fellas. I'm talking about even yeah, niggas, that's why, even that's why niggas. I brought up both. Yeah, yeah. 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 Either way, even niggas. Either if way. you go take her back, you can't hold it. Hold it back. This is a new slate now. This is a new chapter, new book. Actually, this is a new book. You can't base shit on the old one because you decided mm -hmm. to take her back. You decided to take him back. Okay, so you can't hold that old shit up no more and shit. Because if you weren't over it, why take him the fuck back? That, that's how I so, I agree. So. Oh, so honestly, having having Sasha here would be great, right? Because yeah. she probably would have a good insight on it. But me, from personal experiences, plus plus what I see, like women say, it's much harder to walk away because of emotions. It's <sighs> bullshit. I do too. I, I, like I'm trying to like say, I'm trying to think of what I can say that ain't that don't make it bullshit, right? right. Like it's bullshit. You can fucking walk away. Yeah, like. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. Oh, let me think this over. Let me think this over now. Maybe not. I think it's uh oh, uh oh. He's not already. He just spit the block. He just spit the block. What's that? <laughs> let me think about this. They can't walk away because women do love harder than men at a certain point from a beginning point, right? So if it's early, or when I say early, like year one, year two, I think the women do love harder. Most cases, not saying all. 
love harder. So some shit happens and stuff. That's kind of why us niggas, we know we can get our lack of a better term. Yeah, our bitch so. Back, right? So that's why, <laughs> yes, in the beginning. But then later, uh, I don't know then. Because like what they said, they they can, women can take all the dumb shit we do, right? All the shit that annoys them to a certain point and then they get fed the fuck up. But it takes a long time. Well, it depends what kind of. No, hell, it don't matter what type of fuck she do. Hell, <laughs> there cases you can have a whole baby on a chick. She will still fuck with you. She'll take it back. I know too many examples. I know, I know plenty of examples too. So that's why I'm like, examples. I might not say it's bullshit now. Now, now I might not say it's bullshit when I'm looking, thinking of examples and shit. Like I know people that had babies on their other, and then the other would tell. I, so, them, so, take so care that, of that is, kid, but we still together. So that being said, I do believe the reality is it's hard. I really would love to know the why. And not just okay, like, not just because it's emotional. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not, not, you can't just lay it out surface level because we're emotional. <laughs> it needs to be some type of, you know, kind of. But like, once again, it's just us today. So that's something because, like you said, I don't like in, either side of this party. You know what I'm saying? When they take somebody back, making them pay over and over and over again. For whatever it is, because oh, no, you shouldn't be with them. You should be with yeah, them. because I think you should be. You should come back healed, right? You know what I'm saying, or right. re- truly forgiving them for whatever it is that happened or transpired. Right, right. Uh, because there's yeah, that's like that's like I said, it's a form of manipulation and, and gaslighting in its finest. Um, gaslighting that motherfucker. <laughs> so <Burn> that bitch <laughs> down. yeah, so like I th- I just think yeah it. it it definitely needs to be corrected. It needs to be addressed because, uh, and don't get me wrong, happened on both ends. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? yeah. And, and and once again, you want to make that caveat: it's not for people who are doing repeat behavior, like whatever y'all broke yeah, yeah, up yeah, yeah, for. Yeah. They still doing it. That, yeah, right. one hundred percent. Drag their ass to the mud every time. Oh yeah, gotcha. oh, yeah. Or leave them. Leave them. Actually, leave them. Leave, leave them all, all together. Yeah. But if you they gave don't come, a second back. chance, third chance, and they still. Doing the same shit that you told them you don't fuck with, like hey, like I, right, you tell me I can't come, you know, you know, in order to be together, you can't be staying after three, four in the morning, blah blah blah, and I still consistently come back three, four in the morning, and shit, get in my ass or leave, leave, don't keep letting me come back, cause as we say every, as we say all the time, we only go take as far as the leash as you let us. <laughs> Man, we niggas get away with as much as you allow. You will niggas will get niggas will pr- and they're gonna press a little bit more. Like, mm, ooh, let me see, let me see if I can get get away with this. How, how she read. And I ain't gonna say that's what we're thinking, it just, but it's just that's how it plays out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Happens. Like, it ain't like it just happens like that. Because let's just I'm gonna tell you, I got a homeboy right now, but this is a true story. Good, just a little, quick little story time. Yeah, <laughs> I got a homeboy right now to, to that case of like when we're gonna, gonna get away with what you know what I'm saying, and also the case of he fucked up and he's been forgiven. So he he's a he's a case of both things. So like my homeboy, we go out and we shoot pool, right? Uh huh. So when we go out and shoot pool, like he go ahead, he try his best to like have home straight. He got yeah. smaller children. He try to make sure the wife is good, make sure the children are in bed. He come out later, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, when I don't got my son, that we I don't have my son, I'm at, I'm out, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm out. I can shoot I can shoot pool, and I can I can close the house down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. This nigga, this nigga on the other hand, you can't he can't do that, but. The, <laughs> I ain't gonna say he can't do it because he showed the fuck. He does it. He does it. He so does this nigga comes out and he be out, you know what I'm saying? And I, you know what I'm saying? He be parlaying, be doing whatever the case may be, he be firm, be doing whatever. This nigga's a one. <laughs> this might be another topic real quick. So this nigga be out with it. He be wingmaning. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And he be wingmaning for the night only. Like, he will put in all the work the night of. Like, Literally, if I tell her whatever she need to hear, want to hear, da, 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 and like I'm talking about, and never, and never, and forget about her completely after that. But he will. <laughs> I honestly don't see nothing wrong but, with that. <laughs> here's the here's the part. So he, be, I'd be like, bro, he'd be like, my wife didn't call six, seven times. She, I'm already like, if she called eight more, if I'm already out, she went like it's gonna be worse or something. Like, <laughs> hey, you like, you're right, bro. That's. That's wild to me though, bro. That's he's right too. though, but that's right, but the wild as fuck. He'd be like, man, she, like, she already got mad. A, so what you gonna get? Got mad a few, got, got a few. Co- she's gonna be mad, just right, like just mad. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a baseline. He like, she, that's how he be. 
She bruh. plateaued. She plateaued. Right, so bro. That, that was like a <laughs> And I'd be like, bro, you ain't gonna make sure home good, man. He'd be like, shit, I might as well just, I might as well have fun. If I'm gonna get my ass kicked or chewed out, when I get there, I'm gonna at least have my goddamn time. <laughs> I'm gonna make it worth me getting my ass bruh, kicked. Bro, I'm gonna make it worth, bro. You know, that's bruh. what's funny. That's what's funny uh, about my my homeboy situation, right? <laughs> that, that I was, like, once again, I say no names. Bruh. My homeboy situation. He was like, the thing is, when she went through my phone, the person she asked about, You broke up. You broke up. You said oh. the, the person that she asked about what? The person that he, that she asked about. He was like, "Bitch, why, 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 the dog to lose my whole shit <laughs> over some chick I never even fucked." Come on, this is bullshit. Yeah. This is bullshit. Now <laughs> he was pissed off about that. You asked me about the bitch. I'm not even fucking yeah, with this little flirt shit, <laughs> bitch, man. Come on. Yeah, you're getting a little bit of issues with your mic and stuff, but I heard oh, about shit. it. Though. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, so whatever you just did help. But uh bro, it's the same thing. So like going back to that, going through the phone, dragging them up through mud, like the original topic, like why is you going through the phone? Why are you doing things that show you don't trust them even though you took them back and you said you forgave them, right? Right. Like what what what's the what does that look like, right? Questioning every damn thing. Asking for location type shit, uh, where you going, who gonna be there, all of that type of stuff. So what I'll ask the question is, would you be okay with that as soon as you come back? Like the new rules, remember, because you you kind of mentioned like, ah, oh, shit, you want me going out before the morning. All right, well, I know, you know what I'm saying, that, that was kind of, okay. so would you be okay with like the changed behavior rules that she presents after the comeback? It depends what my behavior was beforehand. Okay. So just say you were cheating and staying out. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. If this is somebody I love, it depends how extreme she's saying, right? So, like, nigga, like, I'll say you gotta share that location. Gotta tell her where you're going, who's gonna be there. That's that, that shit. That's enough. Right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I can only imagine. Look, look, look. I'm gonna negotiate. I like, I'll tell you who's there. But I can't share my location with you, okay? Look, look, that's that's a little crazy. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the one that matter the most. I was like, I can't share my location with you, okay? Because you know, women gonna be like, it's about safety. I need to know where you are. No, (laughs) no, I'm good. I can share my location with you. What are you feeling about to share? Okay, have we talked about that before? We never talked about that. So look, I I I I, I just got an iPhone on my work line or whatever. I hate this shit. I do not like it. I'm gonna be honest with you. All y'all iPhone people, y'all it's so the feds for sure. I'm iPhone. Y'all so, y'all so overrated, sure. but I, I was I'm getting to that point. Y'all so overrated on everything. And the only good thing about the iPhone shit is the messaging. Everything else is trash. Droid for life over here. You, you, right. You're tripping now, but okay, keep going. Now, is it the feds? iPhones don't fail. I you gotta said, think about, you, you ain't even talking about the main thing. iPhones don't fail. Y'all phones get hacked. Fail, burn up, done, all that other shit. I done had this same <laughs> phone right here, this droid right here, for five years now. Still works. Yeah, I got my twelve. I got my twelve. I, my never, 12. Still I never have to do all the upgrades and all that shit. I just put in expandable memory. Boop, keep it going. All right. Anyway, this ain't a tech show. So, said, uh, <laughs> keep going, keep so, going. so is it the fence? I've been saying this is day one. With all the location shit, you could FaceTime me anytime you fucking want to. No, no, I don't want any of that type of shit. No, you can't just FaceTime me and I, you expect me to fucking answer. I can pick up the phone if you call, I'll pick up the phone, but I don't want you to fucking see me and fucking whatever the willy nilly you fucking feel like. No, that's why I will never, my main phone would never be an iPhone. Ever. That's another <laughs> rule of stipulation that had to, that'll be in place. What? From that I gotta get, that I gotta get an iPhone? No, nah, not nah, that you gotta answer your motherfucking shit every time. If you do have no it, problem with that, no problem. What, 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 what? FaceTime, I'm talking about. Oh, not no, phone. no, no, no. I can't. I can't do it. I won't have it. Now, I, when I answer the phone every time, 1,000. I'll try to answer the phone every time. You're gonna know exactly what I'm doing. So it just depends what the rules is. I can't do the share location shit, but I'll negotiate. I'll tell you everything that who's gonna be there and all that type of shit and everything. And I'm gonna be back at a certain it's- time. I can't say the location. Shit. I can't do that. So I, I, so I fully agree. So I'm not like against that, but I'm being devil's advocate today, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I do know women who fully like think that that's like a no, like a non-negotiable. Like real talk, bro. Like I'm gonna share my location. You are gonna share your location? Like 
it's like a, it's like a real thing. Girlfriend, boyfriend, no marriage, no nothing. Like girlfriend, boyfriend is like that's it's a thing, bro. Like I, 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 hey, I could never, I could never. Hey, I don't want to know where the fuck you at at all times. I don't want to just look at my phone and be like, where this bitch at? No, if well, I want to uh, do that, I'm going to call you. And I'll so, you. you know, yeah, right. But also, if it's if you feel like I need to know where you are, just send me your location, your current location when you get there. Not share, you know, share my location. Literally, it, like, everywhere. Everywhere. All times. The when they moving, when they there, when, you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, exactly. That's crazy to me. Yeah, because no. I think, I think the I think the trust that because of course the only the only the only pro to it is I know where you are you safe so I'm happy that's always what, you know what I'm talking about what okay. whoever suggests that type of shit that's typically what it but the other side of it is let's just be real the trust as well as the the micromanagement that they, goes on they, okay that th that's the word I was thinking <laughs> you micromanaging micro your relationship for sure bro. You can't tell me no different. Like we're not. I'm not even gonna ever get into that conversation. If it's a woman that's pro that, and I, we're just we're not compatible. Yeah, like, not compatible at all. Like if it's I don't a want to micro micromanage you. Just, I don't right. want you micromanaging me. Exactly. I don't do well like, on a job if somebody try to micromanage me. <laughs> you feel me? So like, that's my thing. So like, I'm not. I'm not doing it to you. I don't go through phones. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, exactly. I'm not doing locations. That. I don't need to know who at the spot. Unless it's, unless it's somebody that you know is gonna be there that I would be like like a, a ex that you know is still trying to get some along those lines or some shit. But other than that, if it's all strangers to you, if it's just your people, uh huh. I I give my phone code to you instead. I'll do that. Oh, that, that'd hell. be the negotiation. You say, Whoa. oh hell no. You say, oh hell no. I get a phone call if I if I'm trying to get back if I'm trying to come back and I love you ah, I'm, not oh doing, I'm not doing I'm not doing I'm not doing the sharing locations but I'll give you the phone call but here goes stipulation with that don't just be good trying to go through my phone without me like I give you it to give you give them the phone call you giving them the permission to bro like what's but that but what's that's what my matter? trust but so you remember the, but my originally posed the questions don't do shit to make me not trust you now so no, I'll but, give it to you. If I'll you give a person you. your phone code, what's like what why? If that's the case, you can just put it in the hand to them, right? They don't ever need the code. They can no. ask you your phone at any time, type shit. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said, <"Ooh>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess. Uh, yeah. That's what you <laughs> yeah. See what I did? <laughs> yeah. Nah. That's a slip. All right, stuff. which one? All right, which one would you rather do? Would you rather give the location or would you rather give the phone call? Which one? I gotta choose. You gotta choose location or phone call. I'm gonna tell you what my answer is. Go. I'll tell you. I'm gonna have to go with location, my boy. Girl, you tripping? I'm tripping. going with location of a phone call, my boy. You tripping? Let me tell I you why you tripping. I can tell you why. Why? Tim. Yeah, you can't go through my phone code to you. It won't go through the first. Everything's in our phone now. I can, I, can, I can give you the phone <laughs> code. Especially if I'm not on... All right, this is going to sound toxic. If I'm not on <laughs> obvious fuck shit, you can have a phone code. I'm still going to get my shit off <laughs> somewhere else. There's ways for me to get it off. <laughs> I have no problem. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I told y'all. Clarity. Uh... I have no problem finding ways around that shit. Come on. You can have you can have that shit. I don't give a damn. You can have it. You want to know why? Because if I really, really wanted to do some fuck shit, all right, I can go. There's many apps that I can use that you don't know about in order to put my fuck shit in, in there. I can use my Google Voice and I could uh, 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 have that, uh, uh, what they call it? Stop uh, talking uh, about it, bro. But uh, uh, keep going. My bad. My bad. <laughs> There's ways. So I'll give you the phone as opposed to location. I got to have my phone with me at all times. I got to have it. I got to have it. You know, one of my homeboys found a way around I, it one time. But I was just about I, to say. Nigga. I do. I do. I got to have my phone with me. I gotta have if I'm sharing my location, I got a second phone. Motherfucker, know that. Man, that's exactly what my homeboy did. I was just about to say that. <laughs> if I'm sharing I'll never my forget. location, I have a second phone. I got a quick story. Phone. I got a quick story I, about I'm that. I'm going to switch my phone with my homie. Like, nigga, you ain't talking about I got a quick story. Boy. I got a quick story, though, for <laughs> one of my homeboys. I'm going to text you from a different number. No, <laughs> no. One of my homeboys, though, I would never forget this shit, man. He was like, yeah, man. <laughs> I was going down to Macon for something. I don't know, probate, some shit like that. And my, my, one of my frat brothers was like, yo, 
I need you to stop by my house and grab my phone. I said, the fuck? To do what? He said, you going down to Macon, right? I said, yeah, bro. He said, well, I told him, I told his girl, he told his, his girl who stayed with him uh, that he was going to Macon with me. I was like, but you're not going. Where the fuck you're going to be at? He said, just take this fucking phone and you cut it on when you get to fucking make it. All right? Don't worry about nothing else. I was like, oh, God, shit. He's like, the bitch got my location, okay? I'm about to go fuck with this other bitch. <laughs> and she need to believe I've been fucking making Georgia with you. I said, you got it, dog. Just give me the phone. So, that bitch down there, cut that bitch on here. He texts me, appreciate it, dog. <laughs> I got the I got the update as soon as you cut the phone on. He texts you from another number. <laughs> My boy, the, 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 the extents we go through because first and foremost, like I said, if I got to choose, we only do this because I got to choose. I would never share my location. Yeah, right? you gotta, like, you gotta choose. Yeah, on a continuous you. basis. I send my current location. You know what I'm saying? You might know where I'm at. Nah, I ain't talking about current location. I meant like hey, sure. all oh, the no, she yeah, knows exactly where she going her phone. Where the fuck is London? Boom, London is at five five five. <laughs> so if I had to choose once again, I'm going that route because if you give her the phone, so here's my thing about the phone code, right? Right. You still would have to go. You would be having to scrub your shit on a constant basis, constant, constant. Basis. Remember what you I got, said. You, hold on. I know. I know you got levels. You got shit. You can put it in and all this. But you would. But you, yo, like you, you still would have to text to do that, or you would have to go into apps to do that. Your code is your code to all of this shit. Uh-huh. You don't check. Well, well, oh. wait. Um, Google my. I mean, not uh, Android. In Android. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. That's a totally different code for that. So, so, so. All right. Put it this way. She get the code to your phone. She say, "Oh, what's this app? It had a different code." You gonna say no? How should we even know what that app is? That's the point. <laughs> Bro, invest in these inspector gadget ass women. You are out your rabbit ass okay. back. You really think. You think she gonna click on every fucking app I got in my yeah, fucking phone? Nigga, yes, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Bro, I will have to cross from, that bridge. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You. You, you've never lived with a woman. That's the, that's why you don't know that. that you've is never, li- you've that never is lived true. with a woman. So I had to think about that for a second. That but nigga, true. yes. So. Story motherfucking time. <laughs> you sound <laughs> traumatized, nigga. Bro, nigga, yes, nigga. <laughs> Bro, when I say, when I say my, my, <laughs> when I say I've been in a relationship, bro, where this woman went through everything, bro. She went through everything. Bro. Like every app there is? Uh, hold on, hold on, bro. That's just the phone. Nigga. Yes, but yes. Every app. Every app on the iPad. Every app, everything on every folder on the computer, every motherfucking drawer in the house, every shoebox in the house, every bruh, 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 every pocket on my pad, every <laughs> pocket on my jacket. It's like, nigga, Yo, that's everything, bro. Once again, I did fuck up early on in right. relationship, right. For sure. No. So, like, but here's the thing. <laughs> when I say everything, bro, everything. she used to go through, nigga, look at the receipts. <laughs> Did you, are uh, you at the subway? That look like that's a meal for two. Motherfucker, I'm a man. I can buy wow. fucking two subs. That's for me, that's guys. Wild. Damn. That's bro, I, I'm not exaggerating that's right wild. now, boy. Like, that's I had a whole argument one day, bro, about um, subway receipt, bro. Like, that's subway wild. receipt. Because it was two two different subs on that bitch, bro. Like, what if it was my homie? Or something? Like, what? That's it was for me though. It was two subs on that motherfucker, bro. She was like, "Who the fuck you go to subway?" I'm I'm lost. I'm confused because I really did not go to subway with nobody. So like, right. I'm I'm confused. First and foremost, I don't even think about her looking at the receipt. Like, this is why it's right. coming up. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, "Who I go to subway? What this, this bitch watch? How does she know I go to went to subway today? Like, that's the first." Like, I don't want to see the office. Talk about you sharing your locations. Yeah, like that. So, but this is the thing, though. Know, so, like, look, so I'm going to get back to that in a second. So, how you know I went to Subway? So, I'm just, you know, then she, she admitted about the receipt. And then, oh, I saw the receipt on the, the receipt. Like, bro, you got to, like, go through, like, right, come on. Right, 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 right. Wow. And then the receipt showed, like you said, two subs on. Man, I'm sitting there, like, 
are you fucking kidding me right now? You saw two subs on my, we had an argument about that because I went to Subway and bought two subs for myself. Two six inches equals a fucking foot long. I can eat that by myself. What the fuck? Like, wow. <laughs> Bro, that shit was so, bro, I couldn't believe this shit, bro. But, like, that was, like, the, bro, that was, like, one thing. Like, I remember, I'm, bro, I remember she went and found an email, nigga, that was, like, so deep embedded, like, down the fucking list, bro. Because I rarely delete emails. So you got to scroll, scroll, nigga. Even if it's, like, two months ago, you got to super scroll. She went and found one, like, bro, I don't even remember what the time frame was on that shit, bro. I had got some flowers for my own girl, bro. An actual home girl at the time. Don't get me wrong. I know flat when you go looking for shit, you find it. Here go one of them situations. Yeah, yeah. Where you go looking for some shit and it looked real bad, but it wasn't real bad. This is a true story, bro. She went through my email. They don't know how she got into. I still don't know how she got into the fucking email. I think it was from my my. I think it was from my. Yeah, iPad. Don't fuck it though, how she did. Bro, I think it was from my iPad, bro. Because once she found that colors in the iPad, the all shit went real. That's where everything it was went down. Because I didn't know my iPad was taken to my iPhone at the mm-hmm. time. Text message. Oh, this goes killed. to a question that I got. Keep text, going, text message killed me on that, my oh, boy. That's how I got caught red That's the fuck up early on in the relationship uh-huh, I'm talking about. Uh-huh, so uh-huh. she went and found the shit. So uh, she went through my email. She found some flowers from my months back, bro. And it was from a girl that I told her I had. I told her I had female friends <clears throat> that she had met all of them or whatever the case may be. Uh-huh. And this was like one that we that I met since we had been together. So it was kind of uh, fishy. All right, whatever. But uh-huh. it was it was protect. But we did used to always talk about us, me and my girl at the time. Yeah. So yeah. like, I'm like, bro, she, I'm able to, she, she a really good sounding board, goddamn it, about us. I told her straight up about that. And but she had lost her, she had lost somebody. I forgot who was She had lost somebody close to her, and I had gotten some flowers on some like, you know, uh-huh. get, you know, get better, feel better type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I fucked up though. I had never got my girl no flowers at the time. Ooh. Bruh, when I say that shit hunted me, bruh, that shit hunted me, bruh, because it was no way really to like, uh, uh, like, you were yeah, I, I was really you fucked, and I ain't gonna lie, at the time I'm telling the truth, so I am telling the truth, we were, we were right. returning, when those six, those six and half, I was fucked, bro, she yeah. took that shit like, you ain't never got me no flowers, you must love this, you must love this woman, yeah, 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 mm. and I was like, no, I don't. Like, and I was telling the truth, but it was like, damn, I ain't never got no flower, got some flower. Like, that flower shit was like a triggery, traumatized, like, yep. it fucked up. with her. And I ain't gonna lie, I, when I, at the time, of course, I'm trying to plead my case, because I'm I'm telling the truth, at least. And why did you, like, you know what I'm saying? Now you get back to the, bitch, why you going through my, like, you wouldn't have, you, you, know? you try to hit the reverse, try to hit right, the reverse. Right, because, because it's fucked up, because I'm telling the truth, bro, like, I could t- I could see if it was flowers to a motherfucker I was fucking and doing all this, you know what I'm saying? That would be different. But I was telling the truth, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, but so now I'm mad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like well, that shit point, don't happen though, if you don't, you know what I'm saying? It's like the motherfucking uh Draymond kicked to Sabon. This shit don't happen if you don't grab my goddamn leg. Like that exactly. shit. <laughs> exactly. I wouldn't do that shit then. I wouldn't do that shit. But you tried to touch something that I want to bring up. So what you get? Lord, Another story time. Once again, not my story. It's somebody else's story. Um, one of my homegirls, she told me how she caught her uh, her then boyfriend cheating. It was the funniest shit in the world to me. It was kind of old <laughs> shit that you was just telling me. She, she went through some shit. She, she wasn't even doing that. That's the crazy thing about it. It was literally accidentally get caught this nigga. She wasn't searching for shit. Nothing. She, all, all she asked him, like, yo, uh, let me see your iPad, blah, 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 blah. He was like, all right, cool, da, 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 He was like, I'm about to go to the gym. She was like, all right, cool. Once I'm done with Nigga! That, that, that was a ploy. She lying to you, bro. She shit no, it up. So no, I'm going to no, stop no, 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 just no. for a Hold on, let me tell you why. I, I, oh, my bad. Let me, tell, let me tell you why I know. Th- if it was anybody else, 1,000%, but this is my, I can't say who this person is, but I know this person, like, this I know her. Cause I my know ex, her. my ex told me to unlock my iPad for my son. Yeah, and Nick and I went somewhere down the street with her brother, and Nick, it was it was a rat. Nick came yeah, back. It was a whole different person there. It was her, but the whole she was a whole yep. different person. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. So, so she she went on there to do like some work shit or something. She had to she tell something happened. She was telling me she was like I had to do some work shit, and she just saw a text come up. I guess once again it was sync. 
Ten it's come sink, up. boy. And it's sink, that boy. Point, that's she was like, whoa. Since. Now here you go where it gets crazy. And I'd be fucking with her about it. It turned out that he was like into like some dominatrix shit. So she was feeling like like she read the messages and like talking about like tying this chick up and chick hitting him and all this shit. And I, so me being the asshole nigga I am, I said, so you just found out your nigga like to get fucked in the ass or some shit. Bruh, she was like, no. you, you so, can't play like that because that I know. Too, I know. Too, too, was, you in Atlanta? Was, no, no, no. no. She, they didn't. They didn't live in Atlanta. They didn't live in Atlanta. Yeah. They live. They live in LA. But uh, but uh, she, she she was like, no, no. I just feel I don't know how to feel because like, well, boy, I know he just like fucking the bitch, but like, why he could never talk to me about doing that type of shit to him? Well, well I was like, what? <laughs> She was like, yeah, I called him. She's like, no, he's still cheating. But, like, I just feel so inadequate now because, like, do you not like having sex with me? Do you not like? I was like, damn, I ain't even think from that standpoint. <laughs> and shit. So you were just going over with time. You accidentally got caught. You. Well, that didn't sound like an accident. She purposely searched for your shit. Oh, yeah. She, she had missed. Or like Have my you shit. ever accidentally got caught cheating? Accidentally, you was out somewhere God, with somebody, shit. literally at a spot you would never think the other person would be at, and all, or somebody of her friend group would be at, and all of a sudden, boom, pop up like, "Oh, get the fuck out of here!" Out of all mm-hmm. fucking places. Nah, I'm a smooth criminal, my boy. I, uh, every time I got caught cheating, it was because they was investigating, oh, or okay. some, or somebody was because college it was just too many eyes, or somebody was snitching. You know? mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no accidents. I guess. I mean, I guess that could kind of count as an accident in college. Well, you know, you at a spot, you think you had a little hole in the wall, yada yada yada. Then they, mm-hmm. one of their friends come in or some shit like that. But yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But nah, nah, not that I can recall anyway. Not no accident. All this shit was deliberate. She was lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Lucky. yeah for sure. Nah, nah. I definitely accidentally got for lucky. sure. I told her that story before. I was walking around with somebody, kissing all up in the mouth in front of people. And shit. I, <laughs> I was not a smooth criminal at all. <laughs> But I ain't think like the way it got back to the other chick. It, it was like, oh, it was meant for me to get caught. Okay, got it. it was <laughs> this is written in stone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you all right over there, boss? Boy, I told Going you, boy, through it today. Boy, I know. My no. ass, boy. Ooh, I'm over yes, here. Man, she's trying to push this third shit through. Uh, <laughs> anyway, dog, uh, what else you got? What else we got? What else we got? Let me see. Uh, I mean, we got, we got you got yeah, you got yeah, we, we got, got time. time for one more. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, bah, bah, bah. we are talking about. Oh no, you said something the other day that was real good to the Instagram page. Hold on, let's pull that up. Pull that up, boss man. I don't even remember what it was. You know, I've been doing too much. Oh, oh, that was a really good one. Hold on, guys. I know it seems like we were over here. Uh, oh, the transactional relationship. Transactional. <laughs> relationships are romantic mm-hmm. i actually agree with that because we've we've talked about you know everything's a transaction before uh-huh. and this kind of this kind of went into the why it's not a bad thing uh-huh. so you know what i mean so we're expounding about that pretty much because you yeah. know early on we uh i think we had jessica on that time um Miss Jessica Beasley. Yep. Shout out to you. Um, but we had her on that time, I believe, and we were talking about everything changes because she agreed. And uh, but this talks about why it ain't even a bad thing. Essentially, it's romantic. And <clears throat> to paraphrase it, or to sum it up, it essentially it's on a podcast. I forgot what it was. You might you got it pulled up, but uh, it was on a podcast. But um they were CBS. talking about mm-hmm. yeah, so essentially the band was saying like Yes, everything's a transaction, which is what I agree with. Everything, especially when it comes to relationship, you essentially meet somebody, and just because they like everybody thinks dollar side, uh-huh. we got to think back before dollar were ever created, bro. It's a bartering. Everything is a, a transaction. Yep. It's a bartering system. Everything is based upon you wanting something, needing something, you finding somebody useful for whatever reason it be, whether it be dick, emotions, conversation, money, uh, mental health, whatever the fuck it might be. That's But why, how he flipped it was, you find them useful. I just stated, but you find them useful. Therefore, you find them valuable. Therefore, that is romantic. You find 
that, you know what I'm saying? So therefore it can be remembered because every relationship that you have, whether it be a friend, a parent, or whatever the case may be, it's a benefit in some way or else there's no reason to have it unless you're forced with it like a, like a family member, right? And I, as you as you become an adult, you get rid of them motherfuckers too, but they ain't benefiting you no more either. You know what I'm saying? You just stop talking to them for the most part. You know what I'm saying? So everything is transactional, y'all. So like, and not, so don't get that twisted with everything that I do for somebody, I'm looking for something in return. Right. No, but even with that, it's because of your morals, right? So you're trying to add to your good moral, good ethics or whatever the case may be, whether it be your own personal, whatever the case may be, it's still transactional. Like, motherfuckers would be like, well, no, I can absolutely do something without ever needing, yeah, but once again, it's feeding something. You're <laughs> But yeah. yeah, it's a transaction. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's feeding, feeding. And, feeding. and there we go. We're really talking about transactional being a positive. Yeah, and being the a positive. good side of it, it's just, it's just necessary. It's just a necessary evil. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the word has a negative connotation in this sense. Seems like for people to like that who are, are so against it. Yeah. So he kind of he really, he pretty much sums it up that. You're finding, you know, if everything's a transaction. You're finding use in somebody. Therefore, you're finding them valuable because if you have use for something, it's valuable. Especially if you have continued use for something, it becomes valuable. Therefore, in a relationship, you find a person valuable because you have use for them because it's a transaction that happens uh, on a constant basis, whether it be a good morning text that makes you feel a little, uh, they thought about me. That's a transaction. Yeah. Motherfucker ain't sitting a good morning text without thinking it's gonna do something for you on the other end. Yeah. Moving right along. Motherfucker ain't sending you flowers if they ain't thinking it's gonna make you feel some type of way, yada yada yada, and then mm-hmm. they're gonna get some pussy if they ain't never gotten nothing. You know what I'm talking about? Like right. or if they have gotten it, they're gonna think it's gonna make you make your day. Whatever. That's a transaction. A, a transaction. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. a transaction. So it's a it's a it's like I said, it's a cause and effect. I think that's also the words you use. Cause and effect, right? Yeah. <clears throat> And that's how it goes. What do you think about it? So I actually agree with that also, man. I believe, um, like you, you said, a real key thing, the word transaction um, it has a negative connotation, unfortunately, at times. And when I know when we referred to the, uh, like in previous episodes, we were talking about like actually buying something, right? But like when we actually expand what transactional is, that means just an exchange of something for something else. All right. It doesn't mean like like you said earlier, it could be like the barter system or whatever it is. So I can like, hey, I cook for you today. That's a transaction because what the 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 emotion you probably give back is something that I wanted from you. I wanted your feedback on my cooking. I think I cook well. So, hey, this is what I'm going to do. This is the transaction. I put it in front of you. You eat it and whatever you say to me, I might like it. I might not dislike. I might dislike it. Or whatever that's still a transaction it's a transaction of love like from that standpoint so yeah it definitely can it just love can. languages i was gonna say uh, that next so so the, all is, the love languages the way that you take the test yes it's trans it's transactional as fuck like the yes. way that the way that the questions are worded and the way that you have to answer you have to answer one over the others you might like all of them motherfuckers, but it tells you which one is most likely to yep give you a loving feeling, right? Yep. And a lot of them are, well, ain't even a lot. All of them are transactional, you know what I'm talking about? Like, because uh-huh. it puts you in a behavioral situation, right? Yep. Somebody does this for you, or somebody says this to you, or somebody gives this to you, which one is the most, you know, most likely to make you feel warm and fuzzy, or whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? That's essentially, like the love, that's the whole thing. Then, I mean, fin- financially, it's, it's it's set in stone, right? I mean, right. strange. <laughs> That's the that's the that's the that's the fairest way to put an exchange, right? That's the most yeah. easiest, most simplest way to make an exchange. But love language, we just talked about the emotional side for the most part. You know what I'm saying? About love language, and then conversation, right? Right. If a motherfucker ain't talking, you know what I'm saying? So like, it's just like sapiosexuals, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're talking, you're giving them words, whatever the case may be. It's an exchange. It's transactional. Once the conversation becomes engaged, right? Especially if it's a pursuant conversation of a motherfucker trying to pursue you and or be pursued, whichever the case may be. Yeah. Now even the words are becoming transactional. Everything that's being said is for you to respond. Learning with is another, transactional. With, absolutely. Yeah. 
I absolutely. Sent a, I sent a dick pic. That's transactional. All of this, everything's transactional, bro. When you do it for for two or in uh in lieu of another beam, it's just transactional, bro. Yes. And that's why I was saying, but it's just a positive spin to it because you're finding said person useful and or valuable because you want to engage or exchange whatever it is with them. It's a choice. You know what I mean? It's a choice at the end of the day. Because in my opinion, so I'm going to take it a step further. Uh I don't think love is a feeling. I think I think I've talked about this before. I don't think love is a feeling. I think love is a verb. Love is a choice. Love is an action. Uh, Ah, okay, okay. I think being in love is a is a feeling. Okay, okay. Is an emotion. Yes. That's why it's yes. unexplainable. That's why you can't like put your finger on it and shit like that. But love, that's why we can love food. That's why we can love um 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 actions. We can yeah. love, you know what I'm saying, sports teams. We can love all it's just choosing that over the alternative. So <laughs> love is like even you know what I'm saying, even if you're talking about love with a person, it's just choosing said person over all the other alternatives, right? Over and over and over again. Dropping gospel right now. We you can, feel me? That's, uh, that, yes. <laughs> yes. So, yes. Love, I'm telling you, bro, it's not an emo- the, the just love. Like I said, it's a verb to love. It's it's a verb, it's an action. You don't, the thumb wrong, it, 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 it stirs feelings. It comes with feelings sometimes, but the, but the actual word, the actual word is not, it's just choice, guys. That's why we, when we say we love something, that way I can be just more than a person. It can be an object. It can be a team. It can be, a, you know what I'm saying? It can be a star. It can be whatever the case may be. We can love some shit because we're just choosing it. Like your favorite essentially is almost equivalent to love, right? You're choosing it over the alternative over and over and over again, uh, right? That's really what it is. And then being in love is when you have to add the in love. You're in choice. You're in action. You're in in this state. And it's a and it's a it's a bubble. You know what I mean? You're in that motherfucker. You can't get out of it. That's why you're in love. Like fuck. You see what I'm saying? Like you yeah. literally are captured by it. Yeah. You're captured by the choice. You're captured by the action of love. And you and that's why it's so hard to explain. You know what I mean? Like you know, you feel it. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, you feel it. You know, it's an emotional response. It's just like having faith. Ain't no real proof behind whatever it is that you believe in, but you know you believe in it. That's what in love is. You know you feel it. You know you got it. You know what I'm talking about? You know it's there because of what it, whatever it is, however you feel love, and you know what I'm talking about? I feel in love or whatever the case may be, but you really just captured by the choice that you had, you're making on a consistent basis, putting them in, putting that choice ahead of yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's really where in love comes into play. When you start putting that choice ahead of yourself. Like, that's what it is. Bro. That's about, you know what I'm saying? So, huh, transactional. And that's, you know, that was my segue into it. <laughs> hey, boy, this boy preached on that one, man. That's what we going to end today's goddamn <laughs> podcast, bro. I can't, man, I can really say that after that. That boy preached, man. In love. You feel me, bro? Love versus I, I, in love. I think that's the name of the podcast right there. Bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. And I firmly believe that. And I've, I've explained it that way to a few people because, of course, it's subjective, right? A lot of people had a different versions, reasons. But I said, you got to try to break it down to the simplest of terms. A lot of things we do nowadays, right? Everything being so subjective, it's semantics, though. People are just spinning the same definition. So it's the same thing, but you're just putting your own semantics on your spin. Well, it means this to me, but it's your specific word instead of me. <laughs> Versus right. if you just strip all the fluff away, all the semantics away, are we saying the same thing? Yeah. A lot of times we are. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, you can do you can do a bunch of different things and put all these little words or semantics with it, whatever case may be, your perspective, your twist on it. Because that's just like when a motherfucker say something and then you be like, oh, well, I ain't never heard it that way. I like that perspective on it, yada, yada, yada. We, saying that, we might not even be saying anything different, but my words, the way that I'd explain it, yeah, interprets or or fall or hits home better than you've heard it before, or the way that you would explain it. You know right. what I mean? Right. That's I mean that's essentially the gift of gab, right? All right. Yeah, exactly. Words, exactly gifts. You know what I mean? Like being yeah. able to put things into um, literary or uh, verbal uh, um, text or communication that hit home or uh, land better to your audience, right? 
it's all it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was just with this older lady, bro. She used to be like, you look silver tongue. That's old, old school yep, word. Yep, yep, you yep, still, silver you tongue. Silver tongue. <laughs> And I used to be like, oh, what the hell? She was like, you little silver tongue motherfucker, you. And I was like, I just like putting things into layman terms, like mm-hmm. simple, the most simplistic way I could put it for it to make sense to everybody. Because it might not be the same exact thing that you're saying, but if we strip away our personal feelings about it or our personal spin to it, we might be saying the same shit. I remember going back and forth with a chick one time and I was like, yo, we saying the same exact thing. I'm just using my words, you using yours. Like, <laughs> like you know how you had them one of them long back and forth? Hell yeah. Hell and you'd be like, yo, we stay in the same, same shit. You just, you literally looking at it from this corner, and I'm looking at it from I'm this corner. That's exactly. it. But we're looking at the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. Come on. God, it's like a kaleidoscope. Yeah. Man. Exactly. Well, that boy preached, man. We got to clap it up right there. Man. Hey, man. I try, to do, I try to do what I can do. What I can do. That's, <laughs> that's how we go in that motherfucker today, man. Hey, man. Appreciate y'all What's coming that? with us. Uh, Sasha Boogie was out today, so she'll probably be back next week with us and everything. She had to take care of some stuff. So, you know, you had the toxic boys in this motherfucker thing. <laughs> dang, dang. That's why we started off with some toxic <laughs> shit. Like, well, you, you won't be back in your life. Why the fuck you don't trust me no more? No? <laughs> you know, of course, we started up trying shit, but then we got serious at the end. Look at that. You see how we do this shit. Man, this, is, uh, this is why we your favorite motherfucking podcast. We are here every Monday. Remember, guys, Monday. Mondays now. Mondays on live on Facebook. Tuesdays on the YouTube page. Once again, subscribe, like, uh, share, comment. Uh, let somebody know if you want to come on the podcast, please hit us up on our personal DMs or on the, the, the podcast page or on the YouTube page. We'll see it. Just, just put it out there somewhere. We'll see it. And we'll get back to it. If you know somebody or you want to submit some questions for us to want to talk about, please let us know. Once again, it's community. Uh, we have episode, I think this is 59. Say we rolling, dog. Yeah, somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah, yeah. We up there, dog. <laughs> so yeah, man. Get now. Continue to fuck with us and everything. Uh, I know we keep saying we go do more. We are all right. Life been kicking our ass. Yeah, man. We're gonna be doing you. more, guys. Trust me. Yeah, we facts. We, we definitely are. Okay. Well, I know we keep saying like these niggas ain't gonna do shit. Like, yes, we are. We will and everything. So, um, uh, today's podcast is brought to you by Clarence and Dean because I'm fucked up. I don't know if you can hear this shit. It's not a real goddamn sponsorship, but goddamn, I'm about to go take some, clear all this shit. Goddamn. Most definitely, bro. You got any church announcements before we go, dog? No, same thing, same thing. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Please reach out. We talk back. Uh, that's just my same thing. Every week, we want to get somebody else on the show. Please, we need to get somebody. We need a guest. It's been a while. Yeah. We need to get us a good old guest on the show. Uh, yeah, we don't want to try to go get us another fella. So, but you know, we got plenty of fellas to go in mind. We get one oh, lady to come on. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, let's get us another lady, man, to come on the show. Uh, talk to us. Uh, let us know if y'all are interested. Mm-hmm. And uh, if not, we have to go back into our uh, roller decks and bring on the older old member that did well again. Yeah, man. Oh anyway, yes. So anyway, man. Uh, yeah. Some of the stories you hear may be true, may not be true. That's for you to decide. We are out of here. I gotta go, London. I gotta go. All right, I'm, right, I'm gonna catch y'all on the, on the backside on this shit. We out. Peace. All right. Say less. Yes, sir.